Apple has taken messaging to a whole new level in iOS and iPadOS 16. Do you sometimes wish there was a magic wand you could wave when you realized you sent a text message to the wrong person or that the message contained a serious mistake? Well, your magic wand may just have appeared in Apple's latest version of iOS and iPadOS. You now have the ability to edit and unsend messages. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that now so you never miss when a new video is posted. If you want to take part in my live Q&As, check out the link in the video description. Let's get started. Keep in mind there are some limitations. You only have a limited amount of time to edit or unsend your message. These features will only work in iMessage, not MMS, or SMS. So the features aren't supported if you're conversing with an Android user. The text message will disappear when you unsend it, but there will be a note left behind in its place that you recalled something. Users of earlier versions will still see the recalled message. Taking that into account, Here's how to unsend a text message on the iPad. This should also apply to your iPhone. If you haven't yet updated your iPad or iPhone to iOS or iPadOS 16, do that now before we get started. To do that, just come into the Settings app, tap on General, scroll to the top, select Software Update, and make sure that you're updated to iOS or iPadOS 16. Now let's come into the Messages app where I've prepared a text message to send. I'll go ahead and tap on Send. And when I do, I can now recall that message, unsend it, or edit it. So if I long press on the message, you'll see that a menu drops down. And I can go ahead and say undo send. When I click on that, you'll see that an animation appears and the message disappears. I will remind you that if the person you're sending that message to is still on iOS 15 or earlier, they are still going to receive that message. If they're on iOS 16 or iPadOS 16, they're going to see a little message that said, you know, that your message has been unsent or something similar. Remember that anyone you send an iMessage to might accidentally see it before you unsend it, especially if they have previewed the text message or caught a notification. Let's say you made a typo in the message that you want to send, which I often do. You see the typo and want to correct it after you've sent it. In iOS and iPadOS 16, you have an edit option to do so. Here's how. So as you can see, I incorrectly spelled weak. I'm going to go ahead and send the message. And now once it's been sent, if I push and hold on the message, the pop-up menu appears and I can tap on edit. And now I can come in and change, sorry about that. I can come in and change weak to the correct spelling, tap on the check mark next to the message. And when I do, the updated message will be sent. And as you can see, it says edited underneath the message. Text messages aren't the only thing that you can unsend. Apple has placed the unsend feature also inside of the Mail app so that you can unsend email messages. They also have added a new feature that allows you to send emails at a later time. Let me show you how that works. So right now we're inside of uh, Apple Mail and I'm going to tap on a message that I've already created. And if I push and hold on the blue arrow in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see 
that I now have the option to send now, send at 9 p.m. tonight, or send later. If I tap on send later, I now have the option to send this email message at the date and time that I choose. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that, but wanted you to see this feature. I'm going to now show you the unsend feature. When I tap on the blue arrow, the message is sent. And down here in the uh, underneath where it says no mail, I have an undo send feature that appears and it only is going to remain there for 10 seconds. So you quickly, if you want to end, uh, unsend a message, you have to quickly get down and tap on that to unsend it. But there's a way to increase the time. So I'm going to swipe out of the mail app and I'm going to come in to settings. And I'm already in the mail settings. And if you come all the way down to the bottom, undo send delay, you can increase the time for that. And so I'll go ahead and say 30 seconds. And so I have now changed uh, the delay time to 30 seconds. And so that'll give me a little more time to unsend that message. So let me show you again how that works. If I come into the mail app and I create a new message and I go ahead and just go ahead, I'm going to just put a test in there and I'll put test below. And if I send that message, now I have 30 seconds to unsend it. And if I tap on that, the message reappears. I can edit that message to whatever it needs to be edited for and go ahead and tap on send. And now the edited version of that email message has been sent. That's how easy it is to edit and unsend a text message or email. Other new features include collaborating within the texting app on documents, spreadsheets, slide presentations, and other files. You can also use SharePlay through the Messages app so that you don't have to start a FaceTime call if you want to watch movies or listen to music with friends. I'll cover these in another video. Keep an eye out for other lessons on the all-new updated iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.